Have you started your landscape design and realized that your flower beds don't suit the style of your home? With a few simple steps, Dennis Flanagan can take you from a rock and a hard place. Dennis, we've got some styles here that we're going to have to talk about. Absolutely. So talk to us about what we're going to see here. Style is the word, and it really falls into two categories, uh, what we call formal and informal. Mm -hmm. So when we say formal, that tends to be uh, straight lines, rectangular looks to the design, uh, plants that trim easily, like boxwood yeah. and, and use things that you can make into sort of nice tight shapes. Um, and you tend to th find that if people have a sort of formal lifestyle inside their house, that's what they want outside. When we talk about informal, that tends to be a little bit more casual. So again, choosing plants, maybe like butterfly bush and hydrangeas that tend to flop and flow. Um, Which is great because they're pollinators, so it tells you a lot about the people that are living inside. <laughs> That's right. Um, and of course, you know, curved pathways, curved beds. So speaking of which, um, you know, now that you're kind of falling, falling into the, one of those two categories, you can start playing around with paper. And when I mean playing around with paper, we've all been there when people have gone to a garden center and bought a whole pile of plants and brought them home and wonder what to do with them. Exactly. No. Don't. Take some time. Right. With, so paper is very cheap. Have we can some make, lavender tea. <laughs> <laughs> we, can make, we can make lots of mistakes on paper and it, it's not going to cost us anything. So formal houses, straight lines. If you're going to do something informal, now I know that you know how to do this outside, right? So yes. I use this on paper, uh, but outside we can create a curb by using a, a garden hose, right? Yes, I've done that. I've also used string, string. Yep. and chalk yep. or spray paint. Perfect. Whatever you have, I what, think. Whatever so you have. It's so a make it yourself project. Make it yourself. So you're actually starting off the inside. So I'm going to hold this. If you want to just take that and trace trace a curve just go i'm going to show you an effect here if you can okay. yeah can you so, do that yeah just okay. go, go along the that that's it beautiful this looks great already right. i can so, sort of imagine where i, would I could pretty well say that you're an informal casual kind of gardener so you're going to have a curve here's the interesting thing if this was a pathway for instance no one is actually going to walk like that. They're going to walk along a straight line. So if you're going to make a curved pathway, give it a reason to curve, all right? Don't have um, to <laughs> So give it a reason to curve. So that's when we can do some planting of an evergreen here. We can have a shade tree here. And what that means is and maybe a bench here i just nice. i'm just playing with ideas and so now we gave a reason for that path to actually meander through something as opposed to why did you make a curve so that's a little trick that people might want to use now once like that trick once you've designed the, the the curved beds now's the time to actually plant them right. and uh, you know so here's a planting plan to a lot of people, that just looks like a whole bunch of spiders, uh, black and white spiders. Yeah, for until, sure they do. Until you add some reality. And so taking a catalog, as you've right. done here, and cutting out the plants that we've named on the plan. And by, by putting them on the plan, it starts giving a dimension to it. And you can take your favorite plants, basically. A absolutely. You can double them up. You can yep. maybe want to just have all asters or all purple foxgloves. And again... How much easier and cheaper is it to do it now on paper yeah. than, and it's not very good for plants. Plants is, you know, they're not like furniture. You can't be moving them around all the no, time. No, and I think you're right. And you can add a lot more to this too and make it a little simpler. When yeah. you're taking it and you've already got the names of the flower, which is you great. Have. And I think it makes it easier for when you go to the nursery or you have somebody like yourself and yep. they say, Dennis, I just, I would love these flowers. Right. I fear they may, maybe are not in the right exposure, that do they need eight hours of sun? That's right. Remember the plant tag, right? Yes. We need to look into that as well. But this is a great way. I and think we this would, is what I would do. We would much rather people spend a little time, you know, indoors, planning a garden, uh, particularly, you know, we're coming up to the winter months again. What a beautiful time to spend uh, with the family, have some fun inside designing it. And eventually what you're going to end up with is, you know, a master plan of, of some description. Uh, I tend to split it into two, the hardscaping yeah. that we talked about Perfect. and the planting plan. So take your time, walk through the steps, and you are going to end up with a beautiful plan that is going to save you money in the long run because you've got something to follow.
Tell us a little bit more about the terms of a layout plan. So we start with the hardscaping. Let's not get into the details right. of plants right now. So we're talking the entrance walkway. Interesting here, it comes down the full length of the car down the driveway, nice entrance. Here's a covered porch before you get into the main entrance, a nice little courtyard feature, and a pathway down the side here into a utility area where you'd have things like garbage and storage. Perfect. So we're concentrating on, on the hard core bones of the garden. No pretty stuff yet. Okay. <laughs> then Not a the problem. second stage Planting. is to start talking about plant choices. One of the most important things that you're going to see on this plan is this little symbol here, north, showing that this front of this house actually faces north. What does that tell us? It's going to be shady, shady, right? So when we get into the plant choices, we're going to see evergreens around the foundation, oh. like Euonymus and They news. don't want eight hours of sunshine. That's right. They'll shade take. Plants. They'll take the shade. Nice. Um, and so that's a very important fact when we get into the choices. Uh, so facing north, we've got the shade. We want to make sure plants aren't going to hide windows. We're, we're going to make sure that the house is what we call framed. Nice. Don't put a tree bang no. in the middle. It we hides the house. Right? Those are the basics, Sandy, of a layout plan and planting plan. Perfect. Thank you so much. Up next, we're winterizing the garden. Stay with us.